Okay, we're kicking things off with Rob Emsley, who directs product marketing for Dell's data protection products. Rob, I'm really excited about the collaboration that we're doing the series, and great to have you back in the studio. Oh, it's great to be back, Dave. I mean, it's been uh, only a few months since we we did the future of uh, multi-cloud data protection event with you. You know, and certainly, you know, we're really excited by you know this engagement that we are kicking off with this inaugural show. Yeah, now, as our audience knows, we've covered many data protection topics on theCUBE over the years, but this topic, it seems to continue to dominate the headlines, Rob. Why is that? Yeah, I mean, I think you're aware that every year we run a global data protection survey uh, of rough and tough about uh, 1,200 customers around the globe. And one of the things that we've really started to inquire about a lot more in our surveys is the question around cybersecurity and cyber resiliency. One of the things that we found is that two thirds of the organizations surveyed last year uh, are really concerned that they don't believe that their existing data protection measures and infrastructure is sufficient to cope with malware and cyber threats. Also, the same amount, two thirds also believe that in the reality of, of work from anywhere, learn from anywhere, that's actually increased their exposure to cyber attacks. So certainly there's just a lot of concern as far as do I really have what I need in order to protect the business? So it's interesting because basically you're saying that people are aware of it. So some of these numbers might surprise you a bit when you think about just the sheer number of vendors that are off offering solutions in this space. And as folks know, you know, cloud really doesn't solve the problem. So why do you think we continue to struggle so much? I think a lot of it is because we have a very fragmented security market. I think we've um, you know, sort of seen research that says there's somewhere north of 4,000 incumbent vendors, startups, uh, adjacent players, uh, addressing various points of the security landscape. So we really believe that you know, the challenges are that you know, there's just a lot of inconsistency because there's so many solutions that are out there. And that's one of the things that, that we are really looking at here at Dell to try and address by you know, bringing you know, our perspective about how you actually navigate through this complexity. Well, and we saw this during the pandemic, Rob. There was so much funding that went in and a lot of that went to cybersecurity. And so people naturally say, okay, here's a tool that's going to solve this narrow problem. Let's, let's try it because we have a, you know, maybe we just got snake bit and got, got hacked and now we've got this new little shiny toy. Yeah. And so 4,000, I mean, that is just an incredible number. Yeah, I mean, I think it's the old adage that uh, in order to solve cybersecurity challenges, you need technology, people, and process. And you really need to be uh, wary of um, vendors that come to you and say, buy this solution and it will solve your problem. You know, I think the reality is that it's a multifaceted challenge, you know, and that's where you really need to, to, to look at, you know, the entirety of the problem, you know, and, and, and break it down into, into into piecemeal chunks that you can address and, and, and build a holistic solution. Okay, so let me set up this sort of next part of our discussion. We have a lot of noise in the market as we just talked about. You got more sophisticated attacks. You got too many organizations that don't have adequate preparedness. CISOs tell us they still have lack of skills inside their organizations. So what we want to do with Rob is we want to go and understand like where do we go from here? And more relevant to our series is what's the relationship between data protection and cyber resiliency? So Rob, how does Dell think about cybersecurity in general? Yeah, well, we really frame the conversation into, into three specific areas. The first you know, is protection. So it's really the, the goal is to stay secure against evolving threats. So that is certainly an area where, you know, all of the work that, that many customers have done to protect their perimeter, protect their infrastructure. You know, certainly if you think about um, some of the techniques within 
um, infrastructure itself, things like hardware router trust, certainly work that we do with you know, our partners like Intel within you know, our data protection appliances, even down to the components that we use. You know, so if you think about things like our Broadcom components, mm -hmm. you know, silicon root of trust becomes really so important. Also, the fact that the infrastructure that you deploy comes through a secure supply chain you know, that we guarantee, you know, hasn't, uh, has got to you in a, a very secure way. So protection still remains a key element of the conversation. The second one though, is really where I think this series is going to really focus on, which is resiliency. How do you withstand and recover from attacks? And I think that's where the data protection and the backup and recovery market becomes such a close adjacency to the overall cybersecurity space. You know, backup has been around for a long time, but I think that you and I have discussed how the entire industry is really spending so much more time now talking about how your data protection and your backup and recovery infrastructure helps you become more resilient and uh, allow you to recover from cyber attacks. So those are two very key pieces. And the last one, I think, is a real key element to Dell's message around security is you need confidence. So yes, protection resilience are great. A lot of that is around technology and process, but confidence really comes from the people that you work with. And one of the great things that Dell's able to provide is a global set of resources that are able to not only help you implement uh, techniques and processes and tools, but also is there for you to respond when you need it. And nobody knows when you're going to need it, but the, the pure scale of global services from Dell, you know, we have many situations where we have been able to work with customers immediately uh, when they need it. You know, and I think that's such a, a key important piece. So protection, resilience and confidence. You know, this idea, and I'll share, but our audience knows that we've talked about this a lot during the pandemic. So many CIOs told us that their, their, their resiliency, their business resiliency was way too focused on disaster recovery. So when we talk about cyber resiliency, we're talking about being able to survive an attack and specifically being able to recover and resume your critical business operations. Now, Dell's been in the market for a long, long time with cyber recovery so solutions. So my question is, does your solution have staying power in the market? And, and what can you say that gives customers confidence that it's going to get them you know, through the future, this uncertain future that we face? Yeah. So certainly if we go back to our global data protection research you know, last year, you know, one of the, um, you know, the really upsetting facts is that 48% is that of the organizations that we surveyed had actually suffered a cyber attack in the last 12 months that prevented access to their data. So this is you know, something which um, you know, is deeply concerning. I think one of the realities is that um, bad actors are not only going after production systems, but invariably they're going after backup infrastructure. So as you mentioned, then literally half a decade ago, and it was really after you know, the infamous attack on Sony, that we really introduced the concept of, of isolation into our backup and recovery solution as a additional layer of security that we could provide to our customers to make them more secure and make their backup infrastructure more secure. So really, our cyber recovery solutions is really focused on three distinct areas. First is immutability, you know, and certainly, um, whether or not you're, you're implementing a cyber recovery vault, immutability nowadays is, is effectively something that you should be implementing across all of your, your backup infrastructure. You know, certainly our backup appliances that have been in our portfolio, as you know, for, for many, many years, you know, have inbuilt security and inbuilt immutability, and they have done for a very long time. But we continue to, to make those systems you know, more highly protected with things like multi-factor authentication, things like very specific role-based access control. So that's on the protection side. And certainly you would like to think that being able to recover from your, your primary backup copy 
you know, would be, um, you know, your first line of, of, of defense and your first line of recoverability. But over the last six years, we've been supplementing that with this concept of, of isolation. So immutability first, isolation, and then intelligence being, you know, the second two elements of our solution. And that's really where the whole concept of delivering a backup copy, maybe not of all of your data, but certainly of your critical rebuild applications, systems, and the data that they need in order to get you back up and running and make that, that uh, copy of that environment completely isolated from the rest of production, from the rest of your backup infrastructure. You know what I like about what you're saying, Rob, is I mean, Dell Technologies is a product company, but you're talking about much more than product. It's a, it's a wider scope, the, the supply chain security, you know, you know, not just a single point product, you're talking, the services are a key piece of it. You kind of alluded to that earlier. I really appreciate you helping us set up this, uh, this series and, uh, and, and episode one, really appreciate it. You're great, thanks Dave. Okay, you're very welcome. Okay, keep it right there. We're coming back with Daniel Newman, who was voted the number one independent market analyst. You're watching Navigating the Road to Cyber Resiliency.